What's up guys, Michael here and today I have the installation of the Samsung 840 SSD in my new laptop. This is the Asus N55JK, so if you guys are watching this video and you want to upgrade the Asus N55JK, then that's perfect because I'll show you exactly how to do it. Uh, if you have a different laptop, for the most part it's going to be kind of the same. Um, but it might be slightly different. Anyways, I just laid down a towel on my uh, working station, then I put my laptop on the towel so that it didn't get scratched. But basically, you're only going to need two things for this. You're going to need a T5 screwdriver, at least for my computer, uh, to unscrew the back panel, as well as just pretty much a regular Phillips uh, head screwdriver. So obviously, you just want to start by taking off the back panel with that T5 screwdriver. If this is your first time taking off the back panel on your laptop, uh, it might be sort of hard to get off. Don't be afraid to apply a little bit of pressure, but just double check to make sure that there's no wires connected to the actual back panel itself. After you get the back panel off, you're going to want to locate your hard drive. Mine was very, very easy to locate. Uh, sometimes this might be underneath something, and it's very rare that it would be that, but most of the time it's going to be very easy to access. And then from there, you just want to start unscrewing all the screws. Now there's this little piece here that I actually missed that I guess was just covering the actual disk drive. So just go ahead and take that piece off too as well and then you should be able to get your actual old hard drive out. Now what you want to do is take the screws off from the mounting bracket on the old hard drive and after you do that just put your SSD in it make sure that you have all the SATA ports aligned correctly and then just screw it back into the actual mount. After you did that you're pretty much done all you need to do is put it back into the actual laptop itself screw everything back up screw the back panel back on and then just uh, boot it up and you should, uh, depending on how you transferred all your files, you should be good to go. If you need to reinstall Windows, you can put your installation disk in there. If you have a USB stick, you can do that. Or if you cloned your hard drive, uh, then you should be good to go. But uh, anyways, guys, that's just a quick installation of an SSD in an N55JK Asus laptop. Uh, fairly the same for every laptop in general, but not completely. Anyways, guys, though, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.